Um, I have a really, really, really important question. This will be the most important question I ask uh, the whole weekend. And I want the truth on this one. I want to know who is the best golfer at the Momain Church. <laughs> who, who is it? Well, at the moment, we at least know who the worst golfer in the room is, and that's me. Uh, I, I don't like to play golf. It feels to me like it's uh, an anxiety attack just provoked. Um, trying to get that little ball in that little hole. Uh, my uh, brother is a superb uh, golfer. Uh, got a few hole-in-ones to his credit. It's one of you tournaments really plays well. Uh, I seldom play. Uh, I occasionally play with my father just to be sociable. Um, I have rust on my putter. That's not a good sign. And I can only use two clubs, the three iron and the putter. That's the only two clubs I use. I use the three iron until I get to the green and then I use the putter. Uh, sometimes I use the putter before I get to the green uh, because I've grown frustrated with my three iron. Uh, I have done things that people who have played golf all of their lives have not done. I once broke out the side view mirror of a truck while it was moving uh, with a golf ball. That was a really an ugly incident. Uh, I hooked my shot and I could see it was going out in the street and there was this truck coming down and being a spiritual person I prayed. I said, oh, dear God, don't let that go through his windshield. And about that time, it bounced right beside his cab and bounced up and destroyed his side view mirror. And then I complained to God, couldn't you understand if I didn't want his windshield broken out, I didn't want his side view mirror broken out either. But I guess you need to be specific when you pray. Uh, and uh, that didn't turn out good. I won't go into all the details, but uh, he, wasn't, he wasn't all that happy with me. Um, and one of the reasons why... Uh, I am such a bad golfer is I never do it enough for any of the motions to become natural to me. I'm, I'm thinking about everything I'm doing, and, and when you're doing that much thinking, you're not usually playing golf very well. Uh, if you listen to a, uh, a professional golfer talk about how do you swing the club when there are hundreds of thousands of dollars on the line with the next swing, how do you do that? And the great golfers will always say something similar to this. What you do is you trust your swing. That is, you trust yourself to do what you've done literally millions of times before in preparation to swing the golf club that one time. Okay, I'm going to read some text here, but what I've just told you is what I want to tell you. In terms of the spiritual life, trying harder is not going to get us anywhere. Um, or to use uh, another example, um, if I decided today to go out and run a marathon, by the way, has anybody here run a marathon? Let me see your hands. I've got one marathon, two. Outstanding. What's the matter with you guys? Anyway, uh, that's the way you want to spend your time. Okay. Um, if I de decide to go out and run a marathon today, it is not going to matter how hard I try. I am going to fail. Everybody with me? I can try as hard as I want to, and I'm going to fail because I have not trained. I don't like to run. Whenever I get the urge to run, I find if I lay down and close my eyes, it will quickly go away. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter how hard you try if you haven't trained. Uh, I can go out to the golf course with your best golfer, and I promise you I might try harder than he or she does, but I will lose because they've trained and I haven't. The spiritual life is not about trying harder. 
It's about training. It's about preparing. It's about practice. Um, I really like uh, classical music. Um, so I'll go to a classical music concert and I'll see somebody play a piano concerto and I'll listen to it and I'll think, man, that is beautiful. And then I'll tell myself one of my favorite lies as I'm leaving. I'll say, I wish I could play the piano like that. Well, yeah, I just don't want to do any of the things you have to do to play the piano like that. I want to play, I just don't want to practice. And often in our spiritual lives, we want to perform, but we don't want to practice. Um, I'm actually trying to learn to play an instrument now at, at the age of 50. It's a little late in the game. I'm trying to learn to play the hammer dulcimer. And I'm awful. Uh, and my teacher is a, uh, is a young guy, and, and he is just uh, he is a wizard. He can make this incredible music. And always, before he leaves, I have him play something, and then I tell myself one of my favorite lies. I wish I could play like that, but... We haven't yet found out whether I'm willing to do the things you have to do to be able to, to play like that. Okay, so what I want to talk uh, in this session about is the way of spiritual discipline. And another way of talking about that is how do you train for the spiritual life? Um, let's...